Hey guys, this is Darvs R Us and I am Brad. In today's video, we're discussing all about bridge link levels. I'm gonna give you my top tips for how to increase your bridge link quickly, what the benefits of it are, and why you should care. Starting off with my top tips on how to increase your bridge link level quickly, we're gonna start with the early game where you don't have too terribly many options available to you. My number one pick for this is returning other players lost cargo that you find out in the world. You can quickly and easily acquire hundreds of likes at a single go just by picking up lost cargo you find either in the world or at UCA centers. All you need to do is pick it up, take it to its intended destination, and turn it in. My second early game tip for increasing your bridge link level would be to donate gear. You can do this either by creating gear at any UCA site and then donating it via the share locker. This will generate likes for you. The other way to acquire gear to donate would be to go to a mule camp and take anything that they drop for you. So if they have boots or repair spray, ladders, etc., you can pick those up, take them to the nearest UCA center and share them with other players. This will get you a good chunk of likes. It's just not quite as many as returning lost cargo. So that's why it's my second pick, but it's still an effective choice. Now, as soon as you get to chapter three, your options to gain bridge link level increase dramatically. But I'm just going to cover my top one first, and then we can move on to the other methods. So my favorite method for increasing bridge link level is to build roads. Roads just overall are the most efficient and dependable method for increasing your bridge link. Because all you need to do is get some materials, go to a road building site, and then deposit them, and as soon as the road is finished, anybody who uses that road, whether they're walking or running or using a vehicle, it doesn't matter, they will automatically give you likes. In this way, you can generate thousands or tens of thousands of likes in a relatively short period of time. And while I do believe that there's an extra benefit if you are the one who starts building a road or if you are the one who completes a road section, all you really have to do is contribute some amount of materials. And then when it's complete, you'll start reaping the benefits. So I definitely recommend to build as many roads as you possibly can. Uh, even if you only have 50 spare metal kicking around, you may as well go drop it in the near site unless you need those resources for some other reason. The other benefit of building roads is that they are just useful. Obviously, if you want to get from point A to point B, roads are the most efficient way to do so. Not only are you getting likes, but you're also directly helping yourself and other players in the process. Now let's move on to cover the remaining ways to increase your bridge link level. Obviously, you increase your bridge link level with other structures. So we're talking bridges, generators, watchtowers, etc. They will all generate likes for you anytime somebody uses them. Plus, they can manually leave likes. And NPC porters can also leave you likes if they utilize your structures. You can also increase your bridge link level using signs. I would highly recommend that you are picky with where you place your signs, though, if likes are your intended goal. I would leave them at roads or near UCA sites that people will traverse over because you gain likes anytime somebody directly comes in contact with your sign. Plus, they can leave manual likes, of course. But if you leave them in obscure locations, you're pretty unlikely to get any likes from them unless you're, say, warning somebody of incoming BTs or mules. You can also generate likes off of mushrooms, cairns when you rest at locations, paths that you create, and ladders and climbing anchors. So basic moral of the story is that you gain bridge link levels by interacting with the world. So try to interact with the world and other players as much as you possibly can and you, your bridge link level will increase in no time. One final way to increase your bridge link levels would be to construct vehicles. If you construct vehicles and then deposit them in a garage, other players are then able to pull your vehicle out of the garage and use it, thereby generating likes for you. Also, if you happen to abandon a vehicle somewhere on the map, it will eventually appear in another player's game. And if it's in a decent location, they might use it and generate likes for you. This isn't super dependable, but obviously it can work depending on the vehicle and where it's located. Now that we've discussed methods on how to increase your bridge link level, I'd like to share a couple tips on how you can supply your building projects. The first tip is obvious, 
you can collect supplies directly from UCA centers as long as they have supplies available. The downside to this is that you can easily deplete all the available supplies and then you can't build anything there. So if you steal resources from centers, make sure that you leave at least some so that you can continue to build equipment. My second tip is mules. They are an absolute gold mine of resources as long as you're not afraid to go fight them. You may have noticed that Every mule camp has a primary resource, whether it's metal or special alloys, etc. That resource never changes. So once you find a mule camp that has resources you need, so let's just say metal for building roads, you can farm the, the heck out of it. If you decide to go this route, I do recommend bringing a bola gun or some other non-lethal weaponry and make sure that you have either a truck or a couple floating carriers so that you can pack as many resources at one time as possible. Even if you utilize these methods, you still may have too many resources to haul in one trip. So I would recommend either placing a post box or delivering the resources to your nearest UCA center and coming back for the rest of it. Now that we have those tips out of the way, let's go ahead and discuss the benefits of increasing your bridge link level. For every 10 levels that you increase, you gain various perks. These perks include increasing your sync level with other players, the ability to form additional strand contracts with other players, the ability to have additional cooperation requests, and increased time to send likes to players, structures, signs, etc. manually. Some of these perks are directly helpful to you, some are a little bit less so. So let's start with the increased time to send likes. This one is pretty straightforward. It doesn't really benefit you a whole ton. It does, however, enable you to help other players increase their bridge link level. The other side benefit is that if you say, find a bridge that you really like the positioning of, and so you wanna form a strand contract with that player, but you're busy. You can go to that bridge and manually give it a whole bunch of likes. And then the next time you're in your bridge link menu, you'll see that there's a player you gave a whole bunch of likes to. That would be your indicator that, okay, that's the guy I wanted to form the strand contract with. So it can still be useful. The next part is cooperation requests. Those are directly helpful to you because if you're building a bridge or a generator or what have you, and you don't have the resources to finish it, or you want help upgrading it to the next level, all you gotta do is highlight it on the map, hit triangle, and it'll send a cooperation request. This makes it more likely to appear in other players' worlds, and they will get additional likes for contributing materials to it. So obviously they have incentive to help you improve your structure. The next part of this is strand contracts. These are actually directly beneficial to you. To form a strand contract, all you need to do is go into your bridge link menu, find a player's name, and click triangle. Boom, it's made. Now to cancel a strand contract is exactly the same process. Find their name, hit triangle, and the contract is broken. So you may as well have as many strand contracts as you like because it's really easy to swap out players if you need to. Now what a strand contract does is it makes it where that player's buildings, signs, lost cargo, etc. are more likely to appear in your world. This is directly beneficial to you as a player because obviously if somebody is talented at placing structures in good locations, having a strand contract with them is very beneficial. You'll be able to find nice buildings where you need them more often. Strand contracts also come with a perk for the player you form the contract with. They will receive additional likes whenever you interact with their objects. Finally, we have sync level with other players. This one is really intriguing. I did a lot of research online and in the game, and I never did find a concrete answer as to what it does. So I'll go ahead and give you my best theory and then share a couple of the other ones I stumbled across. My theory is that increasing sync level with other players increases the likelihood that your buildings and lost cargo, etc., will appear in other players' games. This makes a lot of sense to me, just judging by the fact that they call it sync level. Now, other theories that I found include that sync level would increase the amount of likes you receive from other players. I find this to be unlikely because the miscellaneous quarter levels already do the same thing, so I don't understand why they would double up on it. 
Another popular theory I found was that sync level increases the level of players that you engage with. So instead of finding level 10 player structures in your world, you might find level 50 player structures in your world. This doesn't make any sense to me at all because you can start day one and find a ladder from a level one person or you can find a ladder from a level 300 person. So there doesn't seem to actually be a variable there. Additionally, this game is all about bringing people together Together, so I kind of doubt that they would have you increase your bridge link level so that you can exclude certain players. This makes no sense to me. So in my opinion, sync level will increase the likelihood that your buildings and such appear in other players' games. If you guys have any other opinions on the matter, I would love to hear them in the comments below because obviously nobody completely knows for certain. And this concludes my video on bridge link levels. If you guys have any questions or comments or tips, please feel free free to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then please drop a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, take care of yourself.